this morning is all about stop what's stopping you. Stop what's stopping you this morning. Courage. This morning, courage. The text, the talk, the takeaway. Here's the text. Joshua 1 and 9. You've heard it before. Hear it again for the first time. Have I not commanded you? God talking to Joshua just crossed the Jordan. They're moving into the promised land. Moses is dead. We finished Deuteronomy. We're moving into what God has. So God is talking to Joshua and says, have I not commanded you? So what I need you to do, Joshua. Stop what's stopping you by be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Stop what's stopping you. I want you to put that in the chat area just for a minute. What is it that keeps stopping you? For Joshua, there were three things that he overcame, and I believe that we'll learn a lesson that's applicable to our lives, that we will be able to achieve what God has called you to do, whether it's a good mom, whether it's a good spouse, whether it is to uh, be great on the job, no matter what it is. There are three things that tend to stop us, and we're going to deal with it this morning. The first thing is fear. The first thing is fear. Talked about it a little bit earlier. Let's drill deeper now. Fear. At least three times in the first chapter of Joshua, God personally says to Joshua, look, man, don't be fearful. Don't be fearful, Joshua. And he says for him to be courageous. Now, as I said at the very setup of this uh, morning manner, I said to you, my son graduates from seminary this weekend. Yay. <laughs> man, I'm so proud of him. G2, powerful man of God, anointed man of God, a very uh, lives a life of integrity moving forward. I, I just, just love watching what God is doing in his life. Now, Joshua 1 and 9 is a text that I taught him. When he was in high school, he could not go uh, to school before he came down in the basement after I finished working out and had him working out with me. And uh, I would have him quote scriptures. This is one of the scriptures that I would have him to quote. I would have him to quote Joshua 1 and 9. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. So, son, you got to learn that. You got to get that down in your spirit because whatever is trying to stop you from being the man that God has called you to be starts with stopping fear. Number two, forward, move forward. God said to Joshua in uh, the seventh verse of the first chapter, don't look right, don't look left. I need you to go forward. I don't need you to look right or left. I don't need you looking over your shoulder at the shadow of Moses from the last chapter of Deuteronomy, where we have laid him to rest on Mount Pisgah, you need to understand something. We're moving forward, Joshua. Everything that I have for you is in front of you, not behind you. So to stop what's stopping you. You have to always be able to move forward in the face of fear, because now here's the third thing that you got to grab. You got to believe the forecast. You have to believe the forecast. I'm not talking about the weather man that comes on at five o'clock, six, six o'clock, five thirty, whenever you watch uh, the weather or in the morning or looking on your phone, whatever the case is. I'm talking about the forecast from God in verse three of the first chapter of Joshua. God gives Joshua the forecast. I will give you every place where you set your foot. I'm going to give it to you. I'm forecasting, man. Now, he's going to come up against Jer Jer uh, Jericho. He's going to come up with AI. He's going to come up with various things throughout the promised land. But it's been forecasted that you're going to get it. You need to understand something. Just because you're in a battle does not mean the forecast was false. Can I say that again? Just because you're in a battle right now does not mean the forecast that God has over your life is false. You got to go hard after it. That's why you have to stop what's stopping you. Okay, so what's your takeaway this morning? Your takeaway is this. Courage isn't the absence of fear. It's forward motion in the face of fear. 
courage isn't the absence of fear. It's forward motion in the face of fear. You have to understand that people who won medals on the battlefield, the Medal of Honor, when you read the narrative, you will find that they move forward in the face of fear. And God is saying that to Joshua and God is saying that to you this morning. Move forward in the face of fear and that will stop what's stopping you. The Lord be with you today. May his face shine upon you, give you peace, share this manner, don't keep it to yourself and celebrate with me. Uh, my whole family is celebrating this weekend the fact that my son is graduating from seminary and I taught him this text. God bless you. God bless you. Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow morning with more Morning Matter. Bye now.